ESPN's critically acclaimed 30 for 30, presented by Levi's. So, uh, where to start? Greenline. Um, coached a lot of teams. Made a lot of lines over the years. More years than I care to remember. And uh, I don't really remember how exactly this one came to fruition, but I gotta say that uh, when uh, Sherbs and I discussed these three individuals for the green line, um, it was like we were wondering if we put together three players who were just gonna be too good. You know, team was in shambles, you know, team was looking for the right guys to, to step up and be the leader. You know, a couple games into the season, things just hadn't clicked, and then uh, one night at, at Essex, uh, coaches came up and uh, they threw me a green jersey right then and there, right there in the locker room. That's when I knew that this was going to be special. One word to describe the green line, I mean, the word domination comes to mind. Um, the term front loading, all star, maybe that's two words. I don't know. Three budding sophomores, yeah. Just uh, getting over a good season. It was really jacked up for junior year to be a great success. It's going to be a line. Uh, much chemistry, much potential, you know. Just uh, unbelievable. Could have been the most diverse line in the ACHA. Yeah, you know, I still remember the first practice as a line. Uh, I could have had a blindfold on, just knew where everyone was. I knew, I knew where they were cutting, I knew where they were going to be. You know, just back door here, back door there, you know, tic-tac-toe. Just uh, stuff, was, stuff was magical that day. Yeah, you know, it gives me goosebumps, actually, when I think about it, even to this day. You know, something that happened, you know, over a year ago now. Feels like it happened just yesterday. Was it unfair what we did to the opposition? Hell yeah, it was unfair, but we played a win. And uh, when we put these guys together in the first practice, they defined the three-man weave. No one could do it the same. No one will do it the same ever again. And, uh, you know, tic-tac-toe, you know, some people think it's a board game. These guys turn it into something else entirely. You know, I show up to the rink, cracky, and, uh, and I sit down in the locker room, coach comes over to me and he says, you know, Abbott, give me your jersey. You know, so naturally I thought I was, you know, getting cut or something like that. And, uh, you know, he throws me a green jersey. You know, I knew. I knew what the green line was. And uh, I knew, you know, what the jersey meant, you know. And uh, it's a burden I was ready to bear. You know, but unfortunately, never really uh, had the opportunity to, to bear that burden. You know, I think one of the main reasons why the coaching staff didn't put us together since freshman year was uh, partially because I think it was a pretty hard decision, you know, going with, you know, three, three of your best players in the same line. Um, a lot of coaches like to, like to split up the talent, but uh, you know, I think the decision was pretty simple just because uh, we were the we were not only the best looking three guys, but in terms of style, off ice and on ice style. Um. So when we were putting these names together, we conjured up images of Gretzky, Lemieux, Messier, and we were thinking, wow, did we just do something really good or really dangerous? Three of the most talented guys on the team, same line. It just makes sense. The potential was there, the talent was there, the drive was there, you know, and uh, coaches realized it, you know, and they put the pieces in place. And I believe we all had Bauer four roll gloves, you know, Bauer 4,000 buckets, just style was not an issue. And uh, in the ACHA, winning games is not only about goals in the other team's net, but it's half the battle is looking good out there, so. So I remember one time uh, unloading the bus, I saw this uh, trio of sticks taped together. When we came to find out, 
that they were actually sticks that were owned by the Green Line. Uh, the sticks themselves were bonding off the ice, just like the three players were in the bus. You know, we would actually wear each other's jerseys. You know, we would, in practice, we would cycle through the jerseys so that way we were all wearing them. You know, it was like, you know, at least the way we were thinking was, you know, hey, a little bit of his game's gonna rub off on me, you know, some of my game's gonna rub off on him, you know, and... Building chemistry on the bus, building chemistry off the ice, it's just, it would've been a great opportunity, but sadly, never went anywhere. The hit, you wanna talk about the hit? God, it's like a bad replay, it just keeps playing over and over in my head, you know, and, uh, Remember it happened right inside the blue line, and uh, you know I remember coach just grabbing my jersey, holding me back. You know I'm halfway over the boards, he's pulling me back. You know I'm shouting, I'm yelling. The night, so we knew green line was over. It really just happened so fast. We were, I was on the, just get on the ice, about to break the puck out, and then that just happened just like that. After the hit. Things just weren't the same. And I remember talking to Sherbs after the game. Everyone had cleared out. We were just looking at each other, blank stares. You know, ever since that hit, ever since that game, just never been the same. You know, I've uh, been bouncing around from line to line. You know, I can't even keep my color straight anymore. One week I'm wearing a yellow jersey. Next week I'm wearing a you know a purple jersey. You know, I don't know anymore. So. You know, I kind of lost a, a piece of my identity, actually. We knew what we were up against moving forward. And uh, remember Sherb said, Bill, I put this line together for a reason. And uh, we got to move another way. It's going to be tough, but we got to move another way. It won't be the same, and it wasn't the same. You know, yeah, the stats really took a hit, you know. Um, you know, but who stats wouldn't? You know, I mean, I go from playing with guys that could, you know, find me in a cornfield to, you know, guys that could barely find me in the locker room. When you think about the green line, you got to be thinking about history. Um, and also history that never was. It was uh, pretty special while it lasted, but it didn't last long enough. Coach Sherburn, can you please comment on the green line that never was? I told you I didn't want to be a part of this. The green line is the best line that never was. Plain and simple, alright? 